Hi everyone out there, Jim Green here. We have our fitness evaluation orientation coming up. So we wanna kinda of go over some of the material you're gonna need um, at home if you're doing the UBC on Zoom. Uh, Cause we're gonna do a fitness evaluation. I want you to follow along. We do this fitness evaluation to then set goals. Five week goal and then a 10 week goal. So we're not just you know judging how we look in the mirror, even though we're gonna talk about that too. We're gonna to talk about how to improve your upper body strength, your abdominal strength, your cardiovascular, and how to measure this. Now, all these statistics come out of the Cooper's Institute. Some of you might you know recognize the name, Dr. Kenneth Cooper. He almost became our Surgeon General. And he also is the man that's kind of credited with creating the, the jogging and running craze of the 70s and still goes on to this day. And they've been doing a lot of the statistics for the police and the fire departments and those people. So they test their students in their facility in Dallas, Texas, pretty much every month. And they have these charts so we can get a range of where you are from fair to good to very good to excellent. So you can find out your base score, which is today. And then we're gonna set that five week goal and then we're gonna set that 10 week goal. Now, you are gonna need some tools. One is you wanna make sure that you have something that you can do a push up on. Now, we're gonna talk about in the fitness evaluation, I'm not gonna get into the details of exactly how we're gonna do it. You're gonna be coming live and see us live do it, but you are gonna need something that you can go down and touch your chest to. Now, if you're gonna be kickboxing, I'm sure you have a glove. Glove's fine, but anything that is about, you know, three maybe inches, two, three inches off the ground that you can go down and touch your chest to and come back up to. So you're gonna need something like that. Couldn't even be a sponge. Another thing you're gonna need for the flexibility training is a ruler or, or a, a tape measure. Um, it's because we're gonna test your, your flexibility, we're gonna measure it, uh, and of course set goals with it, and then you're gonna be doing that along with this at the, at the fitness evaluation. And at the same time, now I have, of course, a step, because I'm at a you know, martial arts school, fitness center, but it doesn't really matter. You don't need something like this. As long as you have a pillow that's as, you know, let's say, you know, five inches high or two pillows on top of each other, you're gonna set the ruler on top of it, and then we'll show you how to test your flexibility, okay? Again, you can do that at home. And then we're also going to be measuring your abdominal strength. That's probably gonna be the most challenging um, usually you have somebody holding your feet with your knees bent, hands here, and you touch and come back. We're even having a challenge here at the school because of COVID because we don't want people breathing in each other's face. So we have to make modifications. But you just need to have something at your house that can, can support your feet as you do your sit-ups. So either you know a spouse or a willing uh, sibling or you know a foot underneath the couch, something um, to hold your feet. And then we're going to, of course, weigh. You're going to need a scale. And then we are going to do our cardiovascular. Now, this is something you're all going to have to do pretty much on your own. You need to find a trail or some place where you can either do a mile walk. That means one mile without running at all. Or a mile and a half, either only run or a combination of running and walking. If you can do any running at all, you need to do the mile and a half. So. You know, it's interesting, one of our clients recently said, you know what, wait a minute, it's a, there's a foot of snow outside. Now I realize I'm in Florida. That's never been a problem here. You know, we've been rained out a few times. So do it to the best of your ability. Also, if you have any injuries, you know, if you have a shoulder that, that really doesn't like to do push-ups or anything like that, don't do it. Don't do damage. Realize we're just utilizing this as a measuring tool, something to strive to get Better. I mean, of course, we want to take that photo and we want to weigh ourselves, but honestly, fitness is more than just how you look in the mirror and how much you weigh. All right, so this is Jim Graydon, and we'll look forward to seeing you at or hear from you, seeing you, all of the above at the upcoming fitness evaluation. Thank you.